Hey there everyone and welcome, it's AJ and I am back with another video and I have been quite busy at the moment doing a bit of off-camera work. Uh, this is episode number 15, I want to say, or maybe 16, I'm not sure, in my sort of AJ Let's Play Minecraft series. As you can see, I've now named Banjo over there. Um, so I came over back over here to this sort of island which was once a dark oak forest and cleared a lot of the area out and like started getting a little tree farm going. And then I thought I'd do a bit of sort of like practice building just to see how, how I want to like progress with certain builds and stuff. And uh, this is what, something that I've come up with so far. I, I just need to fill in some of the gaps here because... It is, as I say, progression and I still have a few gaps going. Um, but this is actually a little bit away from where I was originally like building and stuff because I wanted to have a bit of practice at doing like some sort of terraforming as well. So I've been following a YouTuber called uh, Thwip or Fwip. Um, I keep referring to him as Fwip. But he does a lot of terraforming type stuff and I've been taking a lot of inspiration from his work so my plan is here is to have this sort of uh seawall come back out over here and i'm going to like make this look like a bit of a cave here and i kind of want to have this as a sort of like smuggler's outpost maybe and the reason why i'm having it here as well is because it's kind of on the edge of a n number of different biomes which I really want to do. And plus, the idea as well is that I'm going to turn there's like this little bit here where I can get rid of this this area here and make it like a sort of little island type thing off the off the peninsula. So I can like have a bit of a play around with like making walls and things like that as well. So this is kind of like a sort of practice thing for doing sort of terraforming and stuff like that. Now, as you can see, I've been quite busy here, like using different uh, materials and stuff to, to do that. And I've been gathering resources. Uh, whilst I've like been waiting for like trees to go and grow and things that I've kind of been waiting for, for that. And I've just like sort of done a bit of building. So as you can see here, I've kind of like got a sort of uh, just a sort of tight. I don't know what you can call it, like a, just a little sort of hidey holy type thing i'll probably put a couple of beds in here and stuff like that i've got a second floor which i might put the beds up here actually so i might make this a sort of in type thing and then below here i've been working on the storage so the idea is that i might actually make this so that i can come out there through the cave so there's like a, a secret entrance or something i might try and look into doing a bit of redstoney contraption so that these open up I might put some bookshelves here actually so that it kind of just looks a bit inconspicuous because the reason why I've had to put that here I wanted to put another barrel set of barrels here but here this is where the those barrels are and because I'm coming down this way I wanted this to be like have all the main barrels and stuff so I'm going to be able to like store things here and then move them about as and when I want them I've not quite finished it up down here just yet and I've got to obviously work on the the roof. Let's go. Let's go see. So I'm going to head back to where we have been like initially doing stuff. And I'm not sure. I'm, I kind of want to do like these little sort of projecty type things all dotted across in different areas and stuff. Um, and kind of just make like up things about like it and stuff. And maybe do like back his backstories and stuff like that. Because... Uh, not many of you might know, but I'm actually a writer, so I kind of like making stories and things. So let's get rid of all of this stuff because I don't need this. Oh, I've got barrels. Let's actually quickly go and put these down here. Yeah, it's giving me like a nice load of barrels. This is a cave somewhere as well, so I might make a nice little secret entrance down into a cave actually before i go and head back in that direction there's something that i wanted to show you which i thought thought which i thought which i thought was really interesting so i'm going to head over quickly there now let's take banjo with us uh you could, could do with a could do with a walk 
Okay, so we're coming up to it now. I actually put this little thing here as a marker to point in the direction that I was looking into. So I was getting some birch wood from here because I needed to get some spruce, uh, some birch wood sapling, should I say. And as I was doing it, I noticed like this really interesting, like sort of cave forma formation. It's kind of like quite open here and it kind of got me thinking about some of the stuff that I could do, like kind of like a sort of almost like a mini ravine. And I, I liked how this sort of thing was arching up this way. And it kind of got me thinking that maybe I could turn it into some sort of dwarven ruin -y type thing. Um, like maybe the dwarves were here and then all of a sudden the ground collapsed and stuff and things. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking for this area. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll actually do the res like resource gathering around here. I kind of want to keep some of like the ores in place. So it looks like it might have got a band. Ouch! It looks like so it looks like it might have got a band. Like leave some of the iron there and things like that. But there's like different places here, uh, and I can hear skeletons. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of for this sort of place. And so I might do that in the next couple of. Hello, I will go back this way. All right, come on, Banjo, let's go back up because the skeletons are looking like they want to shoot at me because that is what they like to do okay so yeah that's kind of what i was i just wanted to show you that oh and also i will quickly show you also what i found actually i want to put that back there because that's kind of like the natural sort of look to it yes yeah, so i really just like i just saw that formation i thought oh that looks interesting i could probably make something out of that like a sort of ruined type thing this is what i found here a ravine like just kind of there and I just love the look of it it was kind of like sort of very interesting and I might we might go and explore that in another another episode or, or something like that but in the next episode what I'm actually going to do is the plan is to go on a voyage and I want to one find a a new some new biomes. I want to really find a jungle biome as well as some spruce wood. Now, over in that direction, I did actually find a, a swamp biome, which I was quite interested in. So we can, can go and check that out. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking of for, for there. Uh, but let's quickly head back to the main base. And now remember banjo obsidian does not yet have a name tag name so don't rub it in her face or his face should i say that you've got one okay good we're in agreement so let's uh, get you out of there come on then uh, let's go here uh, it's down there isn't it it's down it's down in fact, actually, I wonder whether or not I might be tempted to put the... Down we go. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I want you to sit. I want you to sit. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? What are you doing on there? Right. I would like... No, I told you not to rub it in his face, Banjo. Just ignore him, but obviously I will be soon getting you... A name tag don't you worry and i know emerald is sat there right now rubbing it in with with a name tag but you you'll just have to stay put for a bit and i tell you what on the next outing you can come with me because you've been such a good kitty cat so let's go down here and and have a look so i believe i've got three there do i have oh i've got books there um Right, so where are we going to build this? I'll tell you what, let's do it here. Let's come here in the centre. Um, and then we can we can do that. So I'm going to clear this area out off camera just because it's going to take a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a while. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've managed to clear this area out now and I'm just filling up. Oh, that's not meant to go there. I'm just filling up this 
bit there for the light. Ooh. Oh, come on. Misplaced block again. There we go. And then the light can come down onto this. And where's the lantern gone? There we go. So what I've done is I made this go down here like that. I kind of want this to have like a sort of mysterious sort of uh what's the word uh yeah basically like a mysterious sort of oh what's the word for it i have lost the understanding of the word um atmosphere no that's not really the right word i'm looking for to be fair um anyway i will think of the word and no doubt come back to you with the word i was thinking of Okay, so I am back, and I believe that I should have a f fair number of books for this. Now, let's see if I remember how to do an enchantment table. I think I got it right, but I'm not sure if this book has to be... A no, yes, it is right. That's good. That is good. So I'm just trying to create sort of like really eerie atmosphere. That's the word I was looking for, eerie. Okay, yeah. So uh, here, so the enchantment table is going to go here. And in here, I would like a piece of cobble. And then the lantern. Ooh, that's quite hmm. okay let's try just plop in this here for now oh that takes away all of the light doesn't it uh, so maybe what I need to do is turn this into a birch slab Okay, perfect. I wonder, can I make this go link onto... No. Yes, there we go. That's what I want. Because I don't want that to be directly on top of it. So, there. Um, right. So, now, what I need to do is see if this limits the light at all. No, it's quite bright. Um, maybe if I put the bookshelves actually in. Need to be in the inventory hand. 13, 14, 15. Uh, yeah. I think that what I need to do. Hmm. Ooh, actually, does this work? Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. I, I think I need to just take this off for now. No, that's not emitting any sort of light whatsoever, is it? Hmm. I think they've changed the way these work now, haven't they? So maybe what I need to do is... Yes, there we go. So basically, the idea of, of this... I'm gonna like maybe maybe actually I want to have that there so that I can stand there and that's where the lapis lazuli will sit um, so I could get rid of that and put down another half slab yeah yeah uh, I'm not too sure about this though um let's see I think they've changed the lighting for the sort of these these things now so I can't use like the lighting as I normally did do I think they've now made it so that this is a fully Block, full block that is placed down. 
which would explain it. But what I'm going to do is, I know I was going to wait until until I got more stuff, but I figured without further ado, we shall do this. I might see if I can have, have I got any more books? Or did I use them all up? Uh, see, I, what I wanted to do was oh, sort out this floor first though get some books so that if oh I can get rid of this now so that if I don't like the enchantment that it's trying to give me I can do that I might let's let's just see let's see what enchantments it tries to give me for these pickaxes so let's see all right let's have something good Breaking efficiency. Uh, let's try that for now. Yeah, I'm breaking. That's not particularly great. Fortune two. That is what I like. And I'm breaking three. Yes, there we go then. Okay, so you don't actually need all the books by the looks of it then. I thought you used to have to have all the books. So I might just do another row here. And then that there. But no, that's good. Because what I'll do is I will go and look for more diamonds. Um, but what I do want to do is just to finish that up for now. Is make a dark oak door. I also would like to put... No, 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 no. Put that in there. Put that in there for now. And get rid of this sand. Hope not there. And then finally here. But now I'm quite happy with, with, with that actually. I wanted a fortune pick because then I can look for more diamonds and get more diamonds hopefully. So yeah, that's quite, quite cool. So in here I'm going to have like, I don't know, maybe I will make this a sort of like treasury type room as well. So I'm going to have like a couple of chests in here which will detail like some of my treasures and things like that. Right. Let's uh, close that off there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, kind of nice sort of floor. I might actually see how this goes quickly. Like so. Yeah. Oh, um, what do you want? What are you doing? Right, there we go. Yeah. So I just need a few more books uh, there. And I wonder actually then if I can get away with maybe dotting like some different stuff around. But yeah. No, I really like that and I quite like the atmosphere. Let's just double check. I think, if I recall, they can't spawn on those. And this is level 7. So that should be fine uh, for, for that. Um, but yeah. Look what I found. Yes, that is one of the things that I have been kind of looking for i was actually going to go to the um i was going to go to a swamp to find one of these but now that it's obliged and come to find me straight now i can actually deal with it so this must be like a a chunk that contains slime so let's uh 
just get these now and should be able to get these relatively easily that is good there we go yes so i'm happy with that just a quick update on my mining expedition pretty much i found this little hole just down here i didn't realize it was here i nearly fell down it actually and so i went all the way down and it goes right down to the level seven level 11 even and i found right there on the edge after just mining a little bit because i was going to mine out some of the stone to be able to do some stuff i got six slime balls from that and i found a vein of diamonds now i use my fortune through to pick and i managed to get about 15 diamonds in the first batch and then 12 diamonds um and another batch that i found so i'm quite happy with that actually and we will be heading back to do some more enchanting. I want to make an axe and also, um, what's the other tool that you can make out of diamond? Maybe a sword. I'm not too, I'm not 100% sure because I prefer using axes to be fair. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm probably going to be doing there. But I just thought I'd quickly show you that I managed to spot a slime. I was listening to another Minecraft video at the time and thought that, it might have been on there so i had to pause that video and and then and then i heard it so that must be a slime chunk here somewhere uh which is quite which is quite good i might chisel that area out so this is quite becoming quite a nice little sort of ravine area to to work with anyway i will check back with you once i have done all of that so yeah you enjoyed this episode where i showed you a little bit about what i had been doing and also where i did some enchantment and got a nice um, uh, fortune three fortune two pick an unbreaking and unfortunately just an unbreaking shovel but that'll be quite useful to have i might see if i can get a book that has efficiency as well or a couple of books that have efficiency so that I could put them on so that I'm able to do more mining with it and things. But yeah, um, what I will say is, until next time, ta-ra. Okay, I wasn't expecting to get that one. I'm breaking. That has got to be one of the best picks ever. It kind of makes that one look sort of... Redundant? Never mind. Efficiency. Let's see. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you like the video, remember to hit the like button and also leave a comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see me do in the future as well. It will be greatly appreciated. To be notified of when more videos like this come out, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so that you actually get notified of when those videos come out.